customizing iOS 14 is pretty damn cool, especially when you're, you know, making custom setups like this. You know, I think a setup like this is as close to a jailbroken device as you can get, at least on iOS 14 and if you're not jailbroken. Um, but it is a bit of a process and I think the look of it is is amazing. There's so much you can do in terms of a setup with iOS 14 with no jailbreak. So I wanted to give you guys kind of a, a rundown on how I do it and uh, some of the best applications and the best methods that you can do in creating a custom setup on iOS 14. That's what this video is gonna be about. Now it is probably gonna be a bit of a longer video just because this is a little bit of a process and basically walking you through step by step how I do this. Unfortunately, it will take a little while, but I, th I feel that the way I do it is probably the most efficient and the quickest way to, you know, get custom icons, uh, basically to make a custom setup. Now I'm not going to actually cover widgets in this video. Um, if you guys are wondering the best app to get custom widgets is the Widgie app. If you didn't know that I will leave, I'll leave links for everything down in the description for you guys in case you guys want to look at any of this. Um, mainly what I'm going to cover though for you guys is how to get custom app icons and the quickest and easiest way to do it and where to find um, themes basically for iOS 14 because uh, if you guys have been jailbroken it's really easy either you know you add a repo and you can just download the theme and use like Winterboard to enable it system wide. Uh, this is a little bit more of a process, but you can still achieve that custom, you know, themed look on iOS 14. And I think it looks awesome. So, I mean, this theme here is, uh, it's called Onyx. It is by uh, the Prestige XT. Uh, he is on Twitter here. Let me go ahead and give him a shout out. He did not ask me to cover his themes in this video or anything like that. Um, I just like the themes that he has available right now. So the one you're seeing here is Onyx, and I will be doing Peak Dark um, as example in this video to show you guys how to customize them. Um, probably one of the best places to get themes, at least from uh, Jailbreak theme developers, is going to be Gumroad. Of course, you could probably get a hold of the, the theme creators directly and send them uh you know some paypal cash and then they will give you a link for like google drive or dropbox uh basically there's many places you can get themes um i would say if you guys want to discover lots of different themes just follow me on twitter i tweet out a lot of setups a lot of themes uh, a lot of cool stuff and usually they all have the the creator of the theme tagged within the tweet so you can go directly to the creator and figure out how you can download that theme because it's not in a centralized place when you're not jailbroken so when you're jailbroken obviously you get it all from Cydia you might have to add a repo and then you can get the theme but when you're on iOS 14 there's many different places to get these themes like I, like I said you can get them from Google Drive you can get them from Dropbox you can get them from Gum, gum road you can get them you know from the developers patreon which i'm going to show you guys in this video but the biggest thing to remember in getting a theme is it's going to download as a zip file you can of course you know get access to a theme and save every single icon individually but that is going to take you ages so you want to find a zip file that contains the theme and most of these premium awesome looking themes are going to be paid as you can see dessa is a dollar 99 and in my opinion for a theme this awesome it's well worth a dollar 99 uh the the onyx theme that is in beta that you guys are seeing right here is is from the developers patreon which is five dollars a month so again another paid theme most of these themes are going to be paid so keep that in mind you can find free stuff out there. You'll have to do a bit of searching, but you can find themes for free. Um, but I like the premium jailbreak developer theme creator themes. I just think they're the best. They're the coolest. And um, like I said, you're going to be paying for that. So it's how much, how much do you 
think having a device look like this is is it worth it to you to spend a dollar or two bucks on a theme to rock it you know for a while until you get sick of it and then you want to download something else to me it is so like i was saying the biggest thing is that it is going to be downloaded as a zip so an app that you're going to need on your device to unzip it is called unzip and you can get this from the app store this is how you're going to unzip uh, this theme file basically it allows you to extract it and then you can use it on your device now i'm going to show you guys what i mean by that so before we get to that of course you know having a theme like this it does open up the application for built-in apple apps as you can see it does have to go through a transition for third-party apps it opens directly to the app no way around that currently waiting for apple to you know bring back the non-transitioned shortcuts which they might do in the future so in the future all apps might open directly to the app uh, but like i said we're gonna we're gonna go over how to download the theme so i'm gonna do one for example and it is from um the prestige xt's patreon as you can see i've actually had one go at this and it was a miserable fail it was ending up to be a little bit too long of a video but uh, the big thing about downloading a theme is knowing that it's going to be a zip file, basically a folder system with all of the icons available in it. As you can see, there is the zip file and then there is the .deb. So if you're jailbroken, you would use the .deb file and for non-jailbroken devices, you use the zip file. So I'm going to go ahead and just click on the zip file and this is basically going to be the same process for for any theme you find, you want it as a zip file, it's gonna make it the quickest. So from this screen here, and this is gonna happen regardless to where you're you're downloading this, it might be you know in Safari or you know wherever Dropbox, um, Google Drive, you wanna to get to the zip file. So this is the zip file that contains the theme. So from here we can click the little share icon and we're gonna share it with unzip. So unzip is going to get it, and there is the zip file. Now from here, we need to unzip it, and that's what this application is all about. Just click on it, and you're going to see, could not extract the, the, the resource, fork, blah, blah, blah. Just ignore all of those. They do not matter. So if that ever pops up, just click on ignore. It will extract it. So now we have the theme. So we can actually go into all the files here, and you can go directly into all of the, the icons. As you can see there, they are all available. So from here, you want to move this file. So I like to go in one step here if there's multiple file steps and I like just this main file. So from here, we're gonna want to move the, the icons and the files to our files app, the built-in files app. That's gonna allow you to use them as app icons. So you can click the little I there and then you can click on send and then you can Choose the option here to save to files. And as you can see, on my iPhone is where I want to save it. I created a folder called themes, and that's where I have all of the themes I have downloaded to my device so far. As you can see, I got alpha icons, dark square, DESA, Onyx Beta 3, and I already have peak dark in there. So I already actually moved this to my files uh, application. So I'm not going to do it again, but normally you just click save and you can save it right there. If you wanna create folders, there's the little create folders icon. If you wanna make a themes folder, you can do that. But just click on save and it will save it to your files app. And once you've done that, that's all you needed to unzip for. You just needed to unzip it and move the files. So now when we go into the files app, I'm actually already into the icons. If we back out, so on my iPhone, like I said, I created a theme folders or uh, themes folder go ahead and open that up and here are all of the uh, folders that contain different themes like alpha dark square desa onyx uh, this is definitely going to grow over time so uh, here is peak dark we're gonna go ahead uh, as far as masked or unmasked doesn't matter the app that we're going to use to create these will mask them automatically um, icon bundles and here are all of the different app icons that are available in this theme. So from here, now that we have the theme on our device, we're going to want to use another application called Icon Board. And this is available in the App Store. 
This is an amazing application, guys. You can basically import icons or images to be icons. I'll show you guys how it works. So let's go ahead and open up icon board. So you have different screens. So these are basically different themes that I have enabled. And these are the icons that I created. Um, so you can create multiple screens and you can switch between themes pretty quickly once you've already set this up. So if I wanted to, you know, switch to the Dessa theme, I could do that. But I'm going to do peak dark. So we're going to create a new screen. I'm going to click on the screen and apparently the app is going to crash. Click on the screen and then I'm going to change the background color because I do not like pink. And I like to just choose black just because it, it doesn't really matter. The background really, really doesn't matter. So um, I'm going to name this to peak dark since that is the theme that I'm using. Click on OK. And you have a bunch of different options here. As you can see, background type, background color, export background, uh, you know, export instructions, blank icon labels. I always leave that enabled. I like it so there's no icon labels. Uh, replace current screen, and then you have export icons. So export icons is the last step we're gonna do here. So we need icons, and we're, we want peak dark. So we go into icons, and then you can import from files on the lower left here. So go ahead and click on that. And then here are my peak dark icons. Again, you're just going through the files app to get there. So if you start out here on my I, iPhone, just swipe down until you see themes. If you created that folder, peak dark, unmasked, icon bundles, and boom, you have the option to import these. So I'm gonna do Apollo. So I imported that, that icon. Now you can select on that icon and you have uh, full control over it. So Luckily, Icon Board is very good at detecting which application it's for. As you can see, there's the name and then there's the action. So the action is to open the Apollo app, which is exactly what I wanted it to do because it is for the uh, Apollo Reddit application. If it doesn't do the action automatically, you can tell it to do it. So you can, you can go off of a URL, you can go off of a bundle ID, you have your system apps, or you can search the App Store for that application. So I'll just do that as an example. So we are looking for Apollo. And as you can see, Apollo for Reddit. So you just select it. And that now it has been configured to open Apollo for Reddit when I click on that app icon. You have um, complete control over the icon. So you have your image, which I'm using. You can create glyphs, you can make it glossy. You have a background type. For those of you that use glyph style icons, you can actually make your background transparent so that the the glyph icon looks the way it should. There's no weird, you know, black background or gray background behind the glyph. So you do have control over that. You have border width, border color, outer shadow, all that. So there's a ton of customization, but I'm mainly just showing you how to import these icons and use them on your home screen. So we did Apollo, uh, you know, you can actually search through your files to find these, um, but I'm just gonna kind of go through and just pick out a few here, like we'll do fitness, importing. So here's fitness, open fitness, name, blah, blah, blah. I'll leave it as is. So the main thing is you wanna make sure that the app is going to open to the correct application. And I usually just kind of uh, open up the icon to make sure, you know, it, its action is to open one password. And as you can see, you can literally just sit here and you can import as many of these icons as you want. I'm going to swipe further down to find something else. Let's see here. I guess the hardest thing is figuring out, you know, which icons you want to use out of the list here. Because as you can see, there are a ton of different icons to use. So I guess we could do like remote so on and so forth. So basically you can go through and you can enable as many app icons as you want. You could go through and customize every single icon on your device if you wanted. I usually keep it limited to one page. Um, that's just like what I like to do, but this is the quickest way you can en enable these custom app icons. So now that you've set up all of your, your icons, you can go back to your screen configuration here and then you can Go to the very bottom and you can export icons. 
So what this is gonna do is it's gonna create the shortcuts for all of these in one fellow swoop. So we'll do export icons. It'll jump you to Safari. And then you're gonna want to install a profile. So click on allow. Now you have a profile downloaded so we can exit out of Safari and we're gonna go into settings application and there's the profile and then click on install. Go ahead and put your passcode in. Install again in the upper right, install on the bottom and click on done. And now we will have these app icons as you can see on our home screen. Now it depends on what theme you're using really. So as you guys can see here, I had those Onyx icon set up. Now it's been replaced by the peak icons because you only have one profile set up at a time with icon board. So once I go back to icon board, if I want to switch back to, uh, let's just say the Dessa theme, same thing, export icons, allow. We're gonna jump to settings, Dessa icons, install, passcode, install, install, done, exit. And here are the, the Dessa icons, as you guys can see. So it allows you to very quickly jump between themes once you've set up all the icons. So I hope that makes sense on how you guys can see how that works. Again, like I said, if you wanna switch, I'm not gonna do it again, I think you guys get the idea, but you can switch between your themes, you can only have one of them enabled at once. You set up each app icon individually in icon board and you can switch between them very easily and customize your setup however you want. Very cool, um, in my opinion. Now, like I said, guys, uh, if you guys want to discover themes and setups or whatever, follow me on Twitter. I tweet about that stuff all the time, almost on a daily basis. Um, also, I'll try to leave all of the links for everything down in the description. I'll probably make um, you know, a post on my website that'll house all of the links and all of the information you guys need pertaining to this video, so check that out. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on how I customize my icons on iOS 14. It's a bit of a process, but once you have your core set up, it's very easy to switch between setups, icons, and different themes and stuff. So that this is the most efficient way that I have found uh, to do this. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.